Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. And we welcome you to Wings of Intercession Prophetic Prayer Movement. I'm Prophetess Misty Goodwin. We're under the leadership of our pastor, Dr. Russell Antonio Goodwin Sr. And we bless God for each and every one of you. We are on day 21 of our finance fast. Glory to God. We have been seeing and experiencing 21 consecutive days of financial breakthrough. Glory to God. And the Lord God shall get all the glory, praise, and honor. And we honor the Lord for what he has done, what he's doing, what he's going to do. Glory to God. We have been fasting for financial habits to cultivate lack using the pay regimen. And that means every day we have prayed, we have uh, acted on the word and yield to God's will. Glory to God. I know yesterday um, we had complications, but I, I truly was like, okay, I'll re- I'll try to re-record it and send it up. But I heard God says, for day 2020, he's entered us into a financial rest. Glory to God. I said, the Lord God in day 20 entered us into a financial rest. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Let me give you scripture. Hallelujah, Jesus. Joshua 21, 43 through 45. So the Lord God gave to Israel all the land of which he had sworn to give to their fathers, and they took possession of it and dwelt in it. The Lord gave them rest all around, according to all that he had sworn to their fathers, and not a man of all their enemies stood against them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand, not a word filled of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel, all came to pass. I prophesy over your life that you're entering into a financial rest. In other words, you'll have more coming in than going out. Hallelujah. You'll have increase. You'll have overflow. You'll have abundance. You'll have more than you need. Glory to God, because God has called you to a financial rest. You're going to rest in the Lord and the power of his might. You're going to see the hand of God moving in ways supernaturally that you could not even imagine. God almighty is going to show up up in your finances and do a quick work in your life as you rest in the Lord, as you take faith and keep growing from faith to faith. May you not have little faith. May you grow into great faith. May you increase the more and trust in God and rely on God and believe in God for bigger, better things in your life. Glory to God. And as we close out this fast, I will say to you, if you can come to the Movement Center Church today, I just want to touch and agree. If you have sold, if you partner with this ministry, I need to touch and agree with you financially. Uh, I'm challenging you to come into the house of the Lord today. Why? Because this is what the Lord told me. He told me to challenge you to come into the house. If you're online, don't worry. I'm already touched and agree with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The impartation is already there. But if you know that you need to enter into a financial rest, you need me to touch and agree with you for what God wants to do, especially if you are an entrepreneur, if you believe in God, if you're about to start anything I'm telling you, listen, if you obey the prophet, you're going to prosper. If you're online, glory to God, and you're not capable of coming into the house, when we go live, I want you to put in the comments what you need me to touch and agree with you on your new, what you're about to embark upon, where God is leading you. There is a word from the Lord, glory to God, and I know God is going to move expeditiously. So as we close out this finance fast day 21, we're in Jeremiah 30 and 18. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. This is what the Lord says. I will restore the fortunes of Jacob's tents and have compassion on his dwellings and the city will be rebuilt on her own ruins and the palace will stand in its rightful place. Hallelujah. Then it says in verse 19, hallelujah. Thanksgiving will proceed from them a sound of celebration. I will multiply them and they will not be decreased. I will honor them and they will not be belittled. Glory to God. So Father, we thank you that you've entered 
entered us into financial restoration. But I decree and declare we're going to come out better than we've ever been before. I decree and declare that we're gonna, our finances will far match what you own, what you have already believed us to have, what you've already ordained for our lives, whatever, whatever you have set up for us as your children, as your inheritance, as seed of Abraham. I call those blessings into mind. I call them into our homes. I call that into our businesses. Glory to God. I call those over our children for generational wealth from generation to generation that we will leave a legacy. Hallelujah. We will have all, we will own homes. We will own land. Hallelujah. We will own cattle. Glory to God. We will own businesses. We will own hallelujah. Our communities. Glory to God. We will own the things of what you have put before us. God, we will not lend, but we will, I mean, we will not be uh, borrowers. We will lend. We will take care of the needy. We will clothe the orphans. We will take care of the uh, the widows, oh God. We thank you, Lord. You've given us what we need for all of us our affairs, God, for all the kingdom work, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for moving us into financial rest and restoration. God, we will see the hand of you, Father, on our finances, touching and, and moving in our situation, God. We will not be able to see lack any lower po poverty anymore. It is not our portion, and I decree and declare we will never go back to Egypt. We will never go back to struggle. We will never go back to lack for we are walking in new levels of wisdom. God is direction that the power of God continue to increase in us the more. God, we thank you for moving by your spirit. Thank you for delivering us, God. Thank you for transforming our life. Thank you, Lord, that we are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. Thank you, Lord, that you saw fit for us to have and experience your blessings of, of the Lord that is rich and that has no sorrow. Thank you, Father, for doing a new thing. Thank you for giving us wisdom, guidance, and direction. Thank you for these 21 days. Thank you for the guidance of our not, our lives and leading us out of Egypt into the promised land. Thank you, Lord, for the land overflowing with milk and honey. Thank you, Lord, for all of our things we will do to steward well. Thank you, Lord, for giving us discipline and wisdom and guidance and direction and giving us insight and understanding and revelation and mysteries of your will. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing that destroys the yokes. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to pull down our strongholds and destroying the yoke of the enemy. Thank you, Lord. We're entered in financial rest and restoration, and you will get all the glory. Praise and honor. No matter how the famine hits the earth, it will not come near our dwelling. It will not come near our businesses. It will not come near the things in which uh, you have given us to do Everything our hands touch will be blessed. Glory to God, because we seek your face and we hunger and thirst after righteousness and we are filled and out of our belly shall flow financial freedom. Rivers of financial freedom shall flow. Glory to God. We give you glory today for everything you've done, everything you're doing. Everything you're getting ready, everyone that has been obedient, God, to the instructions, God, bless them in a very special way. Do something for them that they didn't even ask or think. Show up in their way, in their finances, in their health, in their family, in their marriage, in their children, in their businesses, in their career, Father, in ways they never imagined. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders. Let there be miracles that follow us because we believe God in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We love you guys so much. Thank you for pressing in. Thank you for pushing through. Thank you for uh, sticking with uh, what God told us. Yes, it was challenging. Yes, I pressed my way. Yes, God got all the glory. Yes, testify of his goodness. Yes, declare loud in the streets that God Almighty is faithful in your life and stand on the word. If you have not seen the visible manifestation, rem keep reminding God of his word. Stand firm on his on your uh, power and authority. Rest in the power of your power to get wealth, knowing God is moving in ways supernaturally that you can never ask or think. He is God Almighty. He is a faithful keeper. He's a father of our soul, and he loves us. He cares about us. He's moving for us. He called us to this fast because he saw that we were drowning. He knew we needed help, but yet he sent a help from heaven.
through his word to allow us to know that he is God. So don't you lose hope. Don't you lose faith. Don't you lose love because faith worketh through love. May you see the things in which you desire. May God grant them the desires of your heart because you delight yourself in him. May the hand of God move in ways you never imagined that you will testify of the goodness of God in the land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We rebuke car accidents, freak accidents, the death angel, the murder and spirit. We renounce every covenant agreement, every illegal contract. We stand firm on the word. We will not be moved by any attack, anything the enemy will use to keep us discouraged and distracted. We stand in power and authority to walk in the wealthy place. And God shall get the glory, praise, and honor in the mighty name of Jesus. If you would like to sow your seed for the last day, go to MilwaukeeMovement.org, click Give. You can also give through Cash App, the dollar sign, the Movement Center. Look for the green, white, blue logo. Uh, again, if you can come into the house, I want to touch and agree. You've been in this process, you, and if you're able to get here, you want to do that. Because God is going to do something very special on your behalf. And I want to touch and agree with what God wants to do. Not what you want to do, what God wants to do for your life. We love you with the love of the Lord. We thank God for each and every one of you. See us today at 11 a.m. Central uh, at the Movement Center Church, 1734 West Galena Street, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53205. If you are online, you know to look for the Movement Center Church on Facebook or YouTube. We honor God for each and every one of you st sticking with us through these 21 consecutive days of financial breakthrough. I give God all the glory, praise, and honor. We love you. Have an amazing day. God bless.